Unidos. Muchas gracias. Madam Evans, for one minute. Madam Evans. Thank you, President. I'm against this proposal because I have always worked for a GM-free Wales in a GM-free Europe. This is the latest attempt to get more GM authorizations agreed at European level by putting the decision to ban GMOs in the hands of individual governments. Now, in theory, this could be appealing for a country like Wales, where agriculture is devolved. Wales was a founding member of the GM Free Regions Network. We don't have the same policy as the UK government on GM crops. We are proud of our high-quality agricultural produce and we don't want to see that jeopardised. This proposal would open the door to GM crops in Europe with the real risks of contamination, cross-contamination. Increasing GM authorisations in Europe would also send a signal to the rest of the world that GMOs are becoming more acceptable. This is certainly not the case for my constituents in Wales. Thank you, Mr. Affronte. One minute. Grazie, Presidente. La collega Evi ha accennato poco fa al discutibile ruolo svolto dall'EFSA. Noi siamo convinti che la mancanza di fiducia degli europei verso gli OGM ed anche verso le agenzie di controllo si basi proprio sul fallimento di questa agenzia europea nel dimostrare imparzialità.